Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. We are jumping into Judges. We are getting close to the end of Judges, and in this, these last, last sections of the book of Judges, there's not really a judge. Um, the people were just kind of doing whatever they wanted to do. And they weren't following God, that's for sure. Uh, it's very clear at the end here. Um, I'm going to quote um, Nietzsche here. Um, and for the next two days, uh, the next two days are tied together in the story of um, the Levite and then the Levite going to um, Gibeah, okay, where the Benjamites are. So today we're going to just focus on the Levite. Tomorrow we're going to focus on, on Gibeah, where the Levite goes, okay? Um, but it says, uh, Nietzsche said this, if God is dead, then everything is permitted, okay? And... Um, you know, you can just do kind of whatever you want to. Um, and so that's what was happening here. Um, also, I'm going to read from 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5 here. It says this, 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5. It says, but mark this, there will be time, terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure, pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but, but denying its power. Have nothing to do with such people. Okay? Paul was writing to Timothy about these people back then, he said at the end times. But uh, in the last days, th th that stuff was happening in the Old Testament and it's happening here in, uh, in our modern day. Okay? Um, so I'm going to read uh, today from uh, Judges chapter 19, verses 1 through 15, and then we'll finish up the chapter tomorrow. It says this, In those days Israel had no king. Now a Levite, who lived in the remote area of the hill country of Ephraim, took a comp concubine from Bethlehem in Judah. Just so you know, a Levite is, uh, uh, was a man of God. He was supposed to be leading the people in, in worship and, and so forth. He was called by God. He's from the tribe of Levi. And the tribe of Levi, their goal, I mean, that, their purpose was to lead people um, in worship, okay, and, and to take care of the temple and the tabernacle and so forth. That's what, and so they were supposed to be godly people. Well, this guy is not faithful to one wife. He has a concubine. Um, so a concubine is like a modern day, you know, living girlfriend too, okay? That's in verse 1. So we start off right off on the wrong foot, okay? So that's in verse 1. He, he come, he, he's a Levite, and he has a concubine. All right? Verse 2. But she was unfaithful to him. She left him and went back to her parents' home in Bethlehem, Judah. After she had been there for four months, her husband went to her husband here, went to her to persuade her to return. He had with him his servant and two donkeys. And she took him into her parents' home, and when her father saw him, he gladly welcomed him. His father-in-law, the woman's father, prevailed on him to stay. So he remained with him three days, eating and drinking and sleeping there. The guy was not committed to the woman because he just made her concubine, not a wife, okay? And then she becomes unfaithful to him and like, I don't want to be with you. And she goes back to live with her, her dad, okay? And when she does that, then he decides, the Levite decides, ah, you know what, I kind of miss my concubine. And so he goes back uh, to get her. And so he goes back there. When he gets back there, uh, for some reason, the concubine's uh, father is just overjoyed to see him and they hang out and they're just having a big drinking party is what it turns out to and um, so he invites them to eat and drink and, and sleep you know enjoy yourself here okay verse 5 on the fourth day they got up to early and prepared to leave but the woman's father said to the son-in-law refresh yourself with something to eat then you can go so the two of them sat down and to eat and drink together Afterward, the, father, the woman's father said, Please stay tonight and enjoy yourself. And when the man got up to go, his father-in-law persuaded him so that he stayed there that night. On the morning of the fifth day when he rose to go, the woman's father said, Refresh yourself. Wait till afternoon. So the two of them ate together. All right, so this, the Levite's there, and he's drinking and partying, really, and having a good time. 
uh, with the father and uh, he can't leave like the father keeps you know getting him drunk or whatever uh, and so he he can't leave he's he's like stuck there okay verse 9 then when the man with his con then when the man with his concubine and his servant got up to leave his father-in-law the woman's father said now look it's almost evening spend the night here the day is nearly over stay and enjoy yourself early tomorrow morning you can get up and be on your way but unwillingly to stay the night the man left and went toward Jebus, which that is Jerusalem. That's what Jerusalem was called back then. And with his two saddled donkeys and his concubine. Okay, so he had himself, his servant, and the, the two donkeys. It, you, you're not going to hear much about the servant later on, okay? When they were near Jebus, the day was almost gone. The servant said to his master, come, let's stop at the city of the Jebusites and spend the night there. Okay, and keep in mind this is when the Jebusites controlled the city of Jerusalem. It was not an Israel, uh, a part of um, the nation of Israel at that time. His master replied, no, we won't go into that city whose people are not Israelites. We will go into Gibeah. You know, now, now notice he, he's like saying, oh, we're not going to go into that pagan city or, uh, where Jerusalem is. We're going to go into Gibeah. You know, that's, you know, one of the Israelite cities. It turns out it's not going to be. Uh, it, they're going to be equally as bad, okay? You might as well just have stayed at, at uh, Jebus. We will go into Gibeah, he added. Come, let's try to reach Gibeah or Ramah and spend the night there in one of those places. So they went on and the sun set as they neared Gibeah in Benjamin. There they stopped to spend the night. They went and sat in the city square, but no one took them in for the night. We're going to stop there. Um... What I want you to see is this uh, from this this passage is, is it's the trap of sin. Okay, so um, the and it, the sin just kind of evolves, evolves, evolves. Okay, so it starts out with the Levite. I mean, he's not living for God. Okay, um, he's just has that title, and then he has this concubine. The concubine leaves. He goes back to get the concubine. Has a big drinking party. And finally, he says, right, we need to get out of here. We, it's, it's time to go. We'll never get home. And so um, he leaves, but he's like trapped there in, in the in the sin. It's, it's hard to break away from that, that sin. Um, and that's the way you'll look around um, the world today. And if you're involved in sin, it's so hard to get out of it. The, the only way to get out of it is, is through Jesus, okay? Um, you can blow your tape like, ah, I'm not going to do that today. I'm not going to fall into that sin. Well, it's only going to be through Jesus that you can break free of that, okay? And ultimately be forgiven. The only way is through Jesus, okay? So I, I'm going to stop there today. Um, that's part one of chapter 19. We're going to get into chapter, uh, the same chapter tomorrow and see they thought they were going to a, a great place. Turns out it's a wicked, wicked place. Thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue jumping into Judges. Lord's blessing to you.